It's not quite as impactful when you take away the percussion, is it? Are these really the only... There's only three guitar parts that play for, like, the majority of this music. Clearly, I have underestimated the uh, importance of percussion. Like, what's the original name of this again? E1M1 or something? Yeah, like, it owes its entire identity to its percussion. Oh, there's another one. Man, I can barely make out that bass, though. Oh wow, that's pathetic. Surely that's not how it sounded in the original game. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna assume that like the Super Nintendo port of Doom was one of the worst uh, when it came to music. Well anyway, welcome to tonight's stream. I'm gonna be playing me a little bit of Wolfenstein 3D. Welcome, Janemic. I see you there. Gonna be playing Rune Factory Frontier. You get jump scared easily while watching FPS games. Really? Well, you know what? That's a good transition into why I'm playing this as part of the Halloween Tricks and Treats collection, of which we are on uh, the second game of eight. Actually, this time I think I'm gonna turn off the uh, the guitars. See how it sounds with just the percussion and the bass. Uh, yeah, the um, every every year on this channel, I have dedicated myself to like conquering a childhood fear. And Wolfenstein 3D is definitely one of those, although I don't talk about it all that much. Like, it's... it's a very minor piece of my child, childhood, but it is there nonetheless. First of all, let's see if we can get this thing running. It tries to go in full screen, which I don't like. Oh, it's capturing. Alright, great. Then I will go ahead and get myself situated. I went ahead and bought this on Steam today. I'm not running this through, like, Scum VM or anything like that. This is just, uh, the, the whatever version of DOSBox comes by default with the version of this game on Steam. So. Man, yeah, this, this music is, like, 
off tempo too. All right, let's get started. Press A key. My God, look at this interface. <laughs> Back in the day when you probably actually had to worry about this limited amount of space of memory available on your computer. <laughs> Sorry, what kind of sound effect was that? Ugh. Uh, okay, when they say sound options, they're talking about this kind of sound options. I wonder what would happen if I changed some of these. Disney Sound Source. It sounds about the same to me. Oh, you want you want a real crusty experience back before sound cards even existed. You pick PC speaker. <laughs> no, but we're gonna keep the sound blaster card enabled because uh, that's where we get to hear the Nazis say "Mein Leben" and stuff like that. You don't think you've ever seen more than one consecutive minute of gameplay? Ah, interesting. By the way, can I full screen this and have it like? What? Uh, no. Hold on a minute. I I'm trying to... Huh? Sorry, hang on a minute. What? What does it think I'm pressing when I try to, like, alt-tab? Or, like, alt-enter? No, for God's sake. Alright. Okay, no, that doesn't quite work. I'm gonna have to... Mm. All of these are different. Oh, you guys can't even see this. Okay, okay, never mind. Uh, full screen is out the window. So I'm just gonna have to work with this in kind of a tiny box. Did I accidentally download the Stanley Parable Zero? Yeah, yeah, all these are like alternate, uh... <laughs> Why are there so many messages asking me if I wanna quit? I'm sorry, sir. My sensors indicate you are indeed a weenie. Change view. Oh, interesting. You probably had to tweak this if uh, your old PC was, like, so weak that you couldn't afford the graphical prowess to render more than, like, a cracker's worth of graphics on the screen at one time. Uh, oh yeah, let's check out the demo while we're uh, getting ourselves set up here. I'll use this time to explain what's going on here. So, right. My history with this game, it is not very much. Uh, my grandparents were honestly kind of PC enthusiasts, now that I think about it. Uh, I guess because my grandmother needed to keep on top of uh, the latest in accounting software for her job. That's not, that's not what it was. She did, like, transcription. But nonetheless, they kept on top of their computers. And my grandfather, while he was retired, he would... Uh, his uh, favorite game to play, I think, were the old-school flight simulators. So I reckon that he needed, uh, you know, a pretty powerful machine for that sort of thing back then. And I guess, uh, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> I guess he had the money for it. How does the sound uh, feel, by the way? That will be the other purpose. Uh, this is about how loud the game's gonna get. I'm gonna have to turn the volume down on my end, personally. But I've got a little knob on my microphone, so I can do that just in a flash. I'm gonna assume that the sound is fine. I don't know why the music is so quiet. But it's fine. I don't even think there is that much music in this game. Besides this jaunty little marching tune here. Sounds balanced compared to my audio. All right, great. That's what I want. Oh, I get to pick an episode. Well, gee whiz, I guess I could just skip around and play the whole game if I wanted to. <laughs> ah, yes. This is one of the oldest examples of, like, humiliating the player for picking easy mode. 
Man, even if I played this, uh, if I picked this, I probably would have still, like, died really easily. Because I was baby once upon a time. I was baby when I was watching my dad play this on, uh, my grandfather's computer. It was only a couple of times I saw him play that, and I think I tried it once myself. And right away you got blood in front of you. Oh, nice, I can use, uh, keyboard and mouse. Actually, I don't think I want to play keyboard and mouse, because this is all mouse movement. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want that. So... Are we just gonna do WASD? Ooh, that is a crusty sound right there. Let's see, do I have a sprint? I do, that's good. I can even use it to, like, rotate my camera view a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing it like this. Like, maybe if I had my trackball mouse installed, I could play it like this with the mouse. But this is just asking for trouble. Can I strafe? Uh, it appears that I cannot strafe. Alright, control is shoot? Really? Hmm. Can I rebind that by any chance? Mouse enabled, joystick enabled. Could I play this with a controller? Hold on a minute. Uh, move joystick to upper left and press button zero. What the hell is button zero? Uh, lower right. Press button one. Is that it? Hold on a minute, is this game just joystick and two buttons? Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let's get psyched. Let's see how this feels. Ooh! Ooh, if I play with the controller, I can strafe! Alright, there's one button. Uh, so what's my interact button? Oh, yes, you can do it! I could almost play this on an Atari 2600. I could. Let's see. I don't seem to have sprint ability while I am uh, mouse and keyboarding, but that's okay. I think strafe is going to be a very important ability to have. Yeah, that's uh, that's something uh, that I like have to basically choose what my abilities are. Do I want to sprint or do I want to uh, do I want strafe? See, can I not open these? Well, eventually I'm gonna happen upon a door that I absolutely have to open. So... Oh, right, these are doors. Uh... Do I need a key? Okay, maybe mouse, uh, sorry, maybe joystick is not gonna work for this. Because I can't figure out how to open doors. Like, do I have any other buttons? I really think this is it. Hmm. I can, I can hug the wall and make, like, a motor sound, but, uh, that's not really getting me anywhere. And I don't want to waste ammo either. So, can I, like, click in the joystick? No. Start? Select? Anything? Hmm. Well, shoot. Yeah, maybe this won't work after all. Oh, I never saved my game. Uh... Oh, back to game. That's what I want. Okay, great. Man, I do wish I could map these controls differently, though. Boy, I hope you guys don't mind that crusty sound effect that's going on. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, why is this game spooky? Well, imagine being in my shoes back in, like, the mid-90s. 
the games that you are familiar with are the likes of... Holy shit, what was that? Oh, that was the door closing. <laughs> God damn it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to collect myself here. Uh, the games that you were familiar with are, like, Super Mario Brothers and, uh, like, Kirby's Adventure, things like that. Uh, I think maybe the most advanced Super Nintendo game I had been exposed to at that time was, like, maybe Donkey Kong Country. Boy, there sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Maybe this was an appropriate pick for Spooky Month after all. So in terms of, like, uh, first-person games, I had extremely limited exposure to them. I'm still trying to see if I can, like, strafe at all, and it does not appear to be... does not appear to be an option for that. Maybe I can use the numpad? No. I'm just gonna run my finger across the keyboard and see if anything else happens. Okay, the number keys control your weapon. <laughs> so yeah, like, the only first-person experience I had had in video games up to this point in time was Duck Hunt. And, you know, that's fine, because it's a fixed perspective. You know, it's like a shooting gallery type of game. You are in one location, and all the targets only ever... Uh... Wow, I cannot aim very well. Uh, the targets only ever appear in front of you. There is absolutely no risk of anything, uh, jumping you from the side- Oh shit, dogs! There's more behind me. Phew. Okay, where the hell did they come from? Yeah, that would have gotten me, like, mega spooked back then. Also, I mistook my score for my health. So, I'm probably gonna die soon. I should probably, like, backtrack and get some of that food I saw. So yeah, looking into Wolfenstein 3D for the very first time as a wee bab, uh, I was... thoroughly immersed to the point where anything that got me from an angle where I could not see it, like, horrified me. I didn't like it one bit, and of course, I, I probably never even like left this first uh, level back then. I just kept on dying because I was just like so scared of what's around the corner. You know what? I could do like a hybrid, uh, you know, mouse and uh, mouse and keyboard. I just wish I could disable moving back and forth with the mouse. Or even am I Hitler's underground lair? I mean, basically. Uh, I think this is actually called Castle Wolfenstein. Yeah, you know what? It'll probably feel a lot more comfortable to me if I aim uh, with the mouse a little bit. Oh, right. Wrong button. Oh, what was that? <laughs> really wish I could strafe, though. Oh, I can click to shoot, too. Excellent. You had a similar experience with, uh, Medieval Resident Evil 2 and Croc. No idea why that last one was a problem for you? Do <laughs> if you happen to remember, then do tell. A secret entrance. I remember this being a thing. Nice. Look at me. I have a healthy square face now. Actually, let me go back and check and see if there's any more, uh, secrets in, like, the main chamber. Because you never know. And extra goodies is always a good time for me. Also, did I get a new gun? Yeah, I totally did. Is this a shotgun or what? Also, did I finish exploring this area? I don't even remember. Is this where I came from? No, I didn't. Okay, so there's, like, a bowl. I guess this was, uh, the kennels. <laughs> I think I just ate dog food. 
well, you take what you can get. So there really wasn't even much of a point to going down here, unless, like, the enemies show up behind you if you don't get them first. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. You guys hear something? Man, I could have sworn that I heard something, like, moving. You're telling me there's no secrets in here? Alright. You were too afraid of getting hit by enemies, so in the very first room of Croc 1, you just hid behind the wall for a long time. I probably had a similar experience with Mario 64, to be honest. Yeah, that game was also a massive leap forward for me, in terms of uh, gaming technology. But I don't think there was much besides, like, Big Boo's Haunt that, uh, really got to me as a kid. Hello. Boy, this, this gun feels kind of pathetic. I think I prefer the pistol. Hang on, do I move faster with the pistol? I think that's just my imagination. That'd be kind of interesting if different guns, like, altered your move speed. Like, I don't think even Doom did that, really. Yeah, using the... Ooh, treasure. Uh, using a hybrid of uh, mouse and keyboard controls is very awkward feeling, but it does give me that extra, like, reflex that I need to actually shoot at uh, bad guys. Yes, I knew there was something in here. Oh, look at that! All my ammo uh, comes from the same pool, which is highly unrealistic. You can't load pistol shells into, like, a shotgun. That just doesn't work. Oh, wait. Oh my god! Is that intentional? Look at that, look at that. The trees have, like, the same color scheme as the soldiers. Uh, like, brown camo on top, and then blue on the bottom. Like, plants don't normally look like that. That has to be intentional. Those doors are loud. Alright, I did lose a bit of health in that exchange, which I didn't even realize. Like, goddamn, I... I'm gonna have a bit of trouble with this, uh, staying on top of my health. I just don't notice when I get shot. Yeah, wasn't there more food in here somewhere that I, like, skipped earlier? Oh, well, I missed that. I know there was something somewhere. Hello, knight. Do I have access to a map? No, I don't. Ugh, I, knew, I know there's food somewhere. There we go. It's not much, but it'll help. Oh, there's some more. Alright, back into the frame. There are, like, metal bunker doors. More of the point, I think, is the fact that there's, like, positional audio in this game that, like, gets quieter depending on how far away you are. Which was probably pretty revolutionary at the time. Oh, also, uh, part of what makes this game run so smooth, uh, compared to other games that came before and after, is that there is no texture on the ceiling or floor. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's literally just a flat color that doesn't need to, like, render anything. It's just a background of dark gray and light gray. I'm sure that some future games, like, ch uh, or even some future levels just change up the colors a little bit, but you will never see a single texture on the roof or the floor in Wolfenstein. Alright, I'm back here. Aha! 
stay alert. There's probably gonna be dudes showing up at some point. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I actually have clocked more hours into I Am Mean than this game. And if you've never seen that game before, I Am Mean is like a Wolfenstein cloak that changes everything to, like, kid-friendly educational stuff. So, like, you're fighting, you're fighting monsters and uh, going around collecting things like uh, uh, sticks and fruit to throw at monsters. And is that the end of the level? I'm gonna guess it is. Let's check around for a few more secrets before then. So yeah, similar principle, just no guns. Uh, no Nazis. Do I even need that at this point? Oh, by the way, can I blow up the barrels? Eh, I guess not. The only four textures are the light, and that might actually just be the lamp models is one thing. Yeah, these are just sprites. These are drawn the same way as the enemies. And the, uh, you know, the light and the... Actually, you know what? This could just be one sprite. That gets bigger and smaller. You know, the, the light cast by the lamp and the lamp itself. That's all just one sprite with a lot of uh, transparency in the middle. Anyway. I think I did pretty alright for uh, first level. Damn, I killed everyone! But I barely found any of the secrets, and I feel sad about that. Oh, there is music in this game! Oh, and of course, how could I forget uh, the other kid-friendly Wolfenstein ripoff, uh, Super Noah's Ark 3D. I wonder if I'll ever end up playing that game on stream. I don't know, just do it for, like, a random-ass Sunday and say, hey, we're going to church today. We're going to be answering Bible questions and helping Noah uh, prepare for the flood. I thought I heard, like, the pitter-patter of an animal, but that's just, like, a weird pizzicato effect going on in, mu in the music. Can you hear it? It's like... Do it for Christmas? <laughs> I'll think about it. Is there not even anything here? Okay, no, I refuse to accept that. There has to be a hidden wall somewhere. I did not come in here just to steal the dog's food. Although apparently I did. Alright, fine. Oh shit, what? Yeah, that's what you gotta watch out for in this game, is enemies showing up where you don't expect them. You know what might help in this regard? If the enemies made, like, footstep sounds. I mean, for God's sake, they're Nazis. They, they're supposed to be loud and noisy when they march. Frickin' pizzicato effect is, like, driving me crazy. I keep thinking that it's footsteps. Ooh, this thing's got some range on it. So what is this, like, a uh, little prison alley or something? One of these probably has another dog in it. There we go. And, uh, chalk this up with, uh, you know, it, put it in the same league as, uh, Resident Evil for instilling in my childhood self a severe fear of dogs. Yeah, if I ever make a dedicated video just to games that scared me as a kid, uh, Resident Evil is absolutely going up there. Not only for, like, the zombie, uh, that gets introduced to you at the beginning of the, the, beginning of the game, but moreover for the- wow, I just shanked that guy. Moreover for the dogs, which are just absolute- oh, shit, someone's behind me. Ooh! 
Where the fuck did he come from? It's like he hitched a ride on my back. Ah, uh, this means I don't have, like, the second tier gun anymore. Oh, shit! Great, I'm already, I'm already resorting to, uh, melee damage. Why did I even come in here? My, I, I, I can only hope that this is a preventative measure that will keep the dogs from, like, chasing after me later. Even though dogs realistically should not be able to open doors. Hello. Oh, jeez. Seriously, though, where did those guys come from before? Isn't there someone patrolling this hallway? Oh shit, that guy's got like a machine gun. Ah, he's the one that says mine leaving. Also, uh, rest in peace whoever this poor fucker is. Oh boy, I am almost dead. That was a surprise, like, mini-boss fight right there. Oh, I wonder, does this have an automatic fire mode? Oh, that's why you want this gun. Okay, okay. I misunderstood the purpose of it. Okay, I shouldn't be wasting my bullets like that. Excuse me, Mr. Skeleton, coming through. <laughs> missed the, he missed the blue guy. Well, don't worry, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more of him. Uh, what was that? Dude, I could have sworn I heard something else. Well, this game certainly got my attention. Uh, I, I don't know what's a good sound and what's a bad sound. Hello. Okay, I think that's the hallway where, like, I died before. So let's uh, just check around. Oh, shit! Now, you see, the problem there was that I looked left when instead I should have looked right. Maybe I will just skip that. Uh, you go, guys! What is that? One bullet? And I'm down to like 39% health? Boy, I tell you, if, if that guy in the blue comes out again, like, I am dead. Oh, fuck! There's a whole party in there. Holy shit. Anyone else? See, this is why strafing is important. But I was not able to get the strafe. So I guess uh, proximity to the enemy is a big deciding factor in how much damage you take. Yeah, this is a scary game. <laughs> I I feel more and more justified in like putting it up here in uh, the spooky game zone. I wonder if the ideal way to play is to just go for it, like how you do in Doom. Cause like it's working out for me so far. Kind of. Oh shit. I knew he was gonna try to go through the door. I think I heard another guy. Oh, there he is. 
Yeah. Look. <laughs> oh man, I died like permanently. Well, E one L one. I did. I did better. I did better than id Software nineteen ninety two. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? Let's try, like, loading up a, a future episode and see what happens. And this time, I think I will reduce the difficulty a little bit. I was down to zero lives. I didn't even notice that I had lives. Like, it's just another number down there. You know what? I think I'm gonna do just that. I think I'm gonna hop between every level, just so we can get a little taste of what this game has to offer throughout its various worlds. Now, obviously, this is probably a little bit like a roguelike, in that it is ideal to not take a shortcut and play every level back to back so that you can come out to the final uh, level with as many resources as you can carry. Well, this is pretty spooky. What's going on in here? Yes, please. There's even food in here. All right, yeah, let's take this uh, automatic gun and see if we can do some damage. Very nice of the game to supply me with this before I've even fought. What the fuck is that? I didn't even give it time to approach me. That was just like a big spooky Frankenstein monster. Ooh, hello there. The hell is that? Oh, did you see his face? <laughs> okay, apparently we can do some big damage now. Wait, is this a boss chamber or something? Why are they giving me so much shit? Oh, now I'm afraid. Like, when you get this many resources in Doom, you know to be afraid. A lot of double doors. Oh shit! Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Don't know if that was worthwhile. Wonder if Ratchet's evil face is a reference to this game? Yeah, it could be. There is a, like, evil face for when the Doom guy gets the invincibility power up in that game. What do you think is hiding behind that door? I went through a very long, twisty corridor to get here. How about multiple Frankensteins? Is that really it? Did I just beat the level? Nah. Let's go back and hunt for some treasure. I just blundered my way into the correct, like, the optimal path for this area and just end up speeding whoop, right to the exit. Having said, I do need to be careful not to end up going in circles. Hello there. Goodbye. And there's so many health packs too, like... Are these guys supposed to be more threatening than they actually are? Because they seem to be... Oh, wait a minute. That's right, I turned the difficulty down. That's probably why they're not that big of a threat to me right now. Well, you know what? I think I prefer it this way. Hey, at least it's not baby difficulty. There's a very good chance that I'm just going in circles here. Yep. Okay, if this happens again, then I'm just going to leave the level. There we go. All right, past the Hitler, uh, you will find an alternate chamber. Hopefully with some cool shit in it. There we go. Yeah, we got, uh, we got keys, we got bees. We've got doors that'll bring you to your knees. No secret passages, though. I'm a little disappointed in that. 
We've heard of Frankenstein's castle, now Frankenstein's fort. More like Frankenstein's fr Franken fort. Oh, that didn't work. I was trying to make a pun on Frankenfurt. Which isn't even a word. Fra Frankenfurter is like a Rocky Horror Picture Show character. That's not the name of like a German sausage. No, that's just like. That's like Bratwurst. Hang on a minute. Is Frankenfurt a word? Now I don't even know who to trust anymore. Ah, here we go. Here's some dudes I haven't fought yet. I think I like this a little bit better. I can be a little bit more reckless with my, uh, exploration. Oh, shit! <laughs> that guy was being sneaky. He was hiding in the corner. But, uh, yeah, no more, like, hidden treasure chambers. I wonder where they're all hiding. Well, anyway, you know the path. We gotta go by the Hitler and through the corridor down the winding chamber, and eventually we will find, uh, the exits. There we go. And there we go. By the way, I wonder if I could have just run straight for the exit. Why is my secret ratio so damn low? Like, where are these secrets that I'm not finding? I guess they don't call them secret for nothing. Ooh, hello. Got some ammo in the corners. Cool. Very cool. You wouldn't get any points. Yeah, that's the whole point of the game, I suppose. Is to... <laughs> Holy shit, that guy, like, karate, cho karate chopped me. Okay, just because it's on an easier difficulty does not mean that I get a free pass. If something catches me off guard, I will probably still die. Where did that guy even come from? There he is. Oh, I didn't get his gun. Oh! Sorry for being so loud, by the way. Uh, that's just kind of how these games go. When something sneaks up on you, you feel it. Get over here, Dracula. So there's another guy, like, right around the corner here. And odds are there's another one, like, right around... Yep. Alright, I'm starting to wisen up to your games here, Mr. Video Game. The view outside is just another wall panel. Just pretend that it's snowing out there. Crown gave me like 10,000 points. Yeah, it had better give me a lot of points for the effort I had to go through. Okay, I'm starting to think that it's worthless to try and check the plain wall panels, because I haven't gotten anything out of them yet. Verboten! That's one of the few German words that I actually know. It just means, uh, forbidden. This feels like a death chamber. Like, I'm gonna press this and, like, a bajillion Frankensteins are gonna try to jump on me. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a mandatory secret. Oh shit! I was just fucking around, but yeah, there we go. Alright, so I guess plain wall panels can work. How the fuck would you find them, other than just, like, tapping on random shit everywhere? Uh, I think I'm gonna push my luck with this one. What do we got here? We got, uh, some eagles, we got some hitlers. Can you imagine if someone tried to recreate this, like, in real life? Just a non-stop hallway with boards and just portraits of Hitler everywhere. Let's 
something's gonna try to get me. Oh god, this is always the part that, like, kills me, is when it's so quiet. You don't give crowns away for free without, like, putting a bodyguard there or something. Ho oh, ho ho ho! That guy, like, tried to jump out at me. Yeah, I know, something's real fishy here. Like, why did they put all the tough guys at the front? These are just regular books. That is, like, three crowns practically given to me for free. I almost wonder if it's, like, a, re a reverse trap. Where it's like they make you think that it's a nasty trap. And so you walk away without actually picking anything up. But that was the trick all along. There's probably dogs in here. This really is unnerving, just how empty this level is. Oh. Did these doors all lead to- Okay, turns out there was a patrolling enemy. Alright, well, I walked away from that one relatively unscathed. Hello. I got tons of ammo to spare now, so you guys better watch the fuck out. Have I been here already? Uh, yeah, apparently. Let's take a quick peek around. How is there not someone in here? I'm, like, on high alert right now, you guys. <laughs> Something is probably, like, stalking me right now, and I just am totally clueless. Well, let's take a... well, no, that looks like an important door. Actually, that might be a locked door. I might have to poke around and see if I can find a key. See, that's where I came from. Uh, did I go in here yet? Yeah, that's where I got all the treasure. So, what am I missing? <laughs> Turns out you can just hold the button down. Yeah, if you don't mind blasting your ears into oblivion, you just check for secrets that way. Seriously, how- No! Oh, there you are! I knew there was one of you guys floating around somewhere. Alright, well now I'm a little better prepared, so... Oh wait, I still haven't found, like, a key or anything. Uh... Hmm. Well, I'm at a bit of a loss. How do I... How do I get through? I guess I can backtrack and see if I can find a key that way. Checked all around here, nothing here, nothing there. Yeah, did I miss a door earlier or something? Oh yeah, wasn't there like a regal looking door that I skipped? Yeah, this is where I found the three crowns. So yeah, I think I did just happen to pick the wrong path that time. Alright, here we go. Into the brick rooms. Where there's probably gonna be a guy waiting for me. Aha! Wait, what? I, I thought I, like, bumped into someone. 
Aha! So the door sounds are significant. If you hear one too many of them, odds are there's a guy closing in on your location. Oh, 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 no you don't. By the way, uh, totally random piece of trivia that just crossed my mind, but this uh, technology you're seeing here for rendering the maze of Kastor Wolfenstein uh, is basically the same way that... Oh, shit. Uh, the same way that uh, the Windows maze was created. There we go. Got me a key. Can I, like, save real quick? Uh, egg. Yeah, you can probably save scum in this game like crazy, if you felt like it. Me, I don't want to replay this whole level after getting the key, so... <laughs> Holy shit! Sorry, I just never heard that laugh before, so it caught me off guard. Hmm. I think I heard another one. Aha! And he got me. Alright, well, at least there's roast chicken. Aha! Why did he take so many hits to get that guy? Why is one of the regular treasures just, like, a cross, I wonder? Are, th are these, like, the treasures that the Nazis looted from the Vatican or something? Wait a minute. The Nazis never invaded Italy. <laughs> Italy was part of the Axis powers. Whee! Okay, yeah, I I'm getting turned around here. Thank God for the alternate uh, wall textures, or else I wouldn't even know whether I was in, like, the brick section or the wood section. Some of the- what? Sound of collecting chicken sounds like something out of Earthbound. Ha! Perhaps the crosses were gifted to Germany back then. Eh, maybe. I don't know, I don't know. Hitler doesn't strike me as a particularly Catholic sort of guy. <laughs> Alright, which way do I go? Alright, I think I got a clear shot to the exit now, unless there's some kind of final challenge. Aha! I, I guess that was the final challenge. Alright, down we go. That one wasn't so bad. I'm still not getting all the secrets. Like, they're, they're so hard to find. Okay, okay, those are just plants. Nothing to freak out about, not just yet at least. Yeah, I think I see what you mean now. It does kind of sound like an earthbound sound. An earth sound, if you will. I hate how effective this, like, plant disguise is. Tricking me into thinking that they're guards. It's such a simple trick, and yet it works so well. What was that? Is that just part of the percussion? Oh. Yeah, that's just part of the percussion. The only god he probably believed in was himself, the not the narcissist or narcissist, as it were. Sorry, hang on a minute. I got to. Uh... Oh shit, I can't, like, alt-tab without causing problems. Uh, maybe I'll just mute myself like this.
that would have been an opportune time for a Nazi to sneak up on me. But it appears as though they are busy elsewhere. Oh shit. There's three locked doors. Am I gonna have to make a choice here? Okay, maybe I'm being a little overly cautious here, because, like... <laughs> Caught you asleep on the job! Uh, I thought that there was going to be, like, a guy, like... I thought this was going to be a trap where, like, you open up one door and then the other one opens at the same time. So you end up getting, uh, sandwiched between bad guys. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was bullshit! Oh. He even laughed at me. He knew that that was the perfect trap. I guess that's something we gotta watch out for in the future. Any door could just have a guy standing right behind it. I have a feeling if I was playing on normal difficulty, that absolutely would have killed me. Well, I got one key. Can I find the others? Which way did I even come from? Uh, I think that's the main entrance. I don't think I've been in here yet. Or wait, have I? It looks almost identical to where I came from, except now there's plants. Like, real fake plants, and not the kind that are disguised as Nazis. Have I been here? Oh, maybe I have. Oops. Well, alright, let me just uh, fire up my chainsaw and run it across the wall here. Make sure there's no weak spots. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that was like, uh, okay, okay, okay. So they both meet up in the same spot, except this one has plants. Gotcha. Yeah, I got the chicken I missed. That's, uh, that's not nothing, I suppose. So that was where I was. I guess I really do have to make a choice. All right, guys, should I go left, right, or straight? There's a decent chance that if I pick the quote-unquote wrong door, then I'll end up uh, finding another another key, but I'll probably have to beat some bad guys to do it. You know, in hindsight, I'm surprised that they start they uh, start you off with eight bullets and a gun every single time. They could just start you off with melee and be like, "Hey, go kill a guy and you'll get a gun," or go find a secret passage. Go right. All right, here we go. Wait, did that not even consume my key? Wait a minute. Huh? I can open up those two, but not this one? Why? Are they different somehow? Hold on a minute. Uh... They barely look different. Like, this one's got kind of a big hole. Kind of a big black hole in the center, and then this one... Like, has a small hole? Weird. Alright, I guess we'll roll with it. It's been too long since I found a secret. There has to be something somewhere. I gotta say, the atmosphere in this game is surprisingly good for its, uh, for its time. 
what you want, but the other door just has a guy standing there. I wish I could, like... Like, I, I wish there was an auditory cue for that sort of thing. This time, like, from now on, I'm just gonna open a door and then back away from it immediately. Where are the dudes? We got pillars. Which makes me very uncomfortable. Like, can I be shot from behind a pillar? This is very peculiar. Anyone else? Anyone else want some? Maybe there's like a secret panel that I can find that'll just take me around the perimeter of this room. And then I can get like all the goodies stashed behind the, uh, behind the, behind the pillars. Or maybe I can even, like, what if the pillar itself was the secret wall? With these old games, I feel like anything's possible. Oh wait, there's a door right there. That's probably what I need. Well, I'm noticing that there's another space underneath my, uh, key icon in the inventory down there. So maybe there's, like, a better key that I can find to get to that one door that I couldn't open. The real secret was the pillars we columned along the way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can close doors manually! I don't have to wait for them. Ah, well that might be useful. Please be polite and close the doors behind you. We don't want to have to do everything ourselves. Still can't go through that one. Still don't know if there's anything in here. Maybe if I'm lucky I will find the door that leads to the other side of the pillars. I'm being so cautious. Green barrel. That just reeks of suspicion! Really? Nothing? Oh, there you are! Not this time, Frankie. I still haven't found anything. Like, what am I even looking for at this point? I feel like I've exhausted every other possibility except for this door right here. So there better be something good. Oh jeez, more doors. Uh, I'll come back to those. How did you live? I think I just got ammo out of that guy. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Now we're talking. Alright, what do I win? First of all, bucket loads of ammo. Second of all, fucking chain gun. Third of all, health packs galore, if you're into that kind of thing. And finally, more treasure. Look at that score! I'm like, a. Ninth of the way there to maxing it out. If such a thing is even possible. Alright, well, I'm feeling pumped up and ready to go. Let's do this. Heck yeah, that's a new high score. So these doors both lead to the same room. Oh god, there's a bunch of, like, blind spots. Anything could sneak up on me. Holy shit, holy shit. That guy got me. Pretty badly. Alright, there's nothing in there. Nothing in that corridor. Nothing in 
there. Nothing in there. Aha! There's one more. Hey you, come out and play. Oh shit! I thought I checked! Oh, that stinks. This is kind of a long level too. I thought I had it. I thought I freaking had it. All right, well, now that I know the layout of this place, it should go a little bit smoother. Hopefully. Who's shooting me? Aha! Anyone else? Yeah, there's a guy down at the end of the hallway. And another guy right there, but that's fine. Anyone else? Anyone else? backtrack and get that food. Yeah, now that I understand the layout of this place, this should go a little bit smoother. What even was in that room that uh, Frankie was protecting? The quadruple Frankies, as it were. Oops. Jesus Christ. How many bullets does it take to get to the center of one of those guys? Alright, but I actually did not take any damage there. I guess they are affected by hit stun, so you just keep landing the pistol shots on them. Uh, you're fine. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo! Oh, Ammo conservation failed. Let's try that again. Alright, so now I know that there's, like, a guy patrolling in each of these side, uh, bleh, side chambers. And I don't know where he is. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Is that all I get? Eh, alright, fine. Uh, I think I'd like to find a little bit more ammo before I challenge the blue guy again. Oh man, I got no choice. Uh, maybe I can tackle the lesser guards first. Come on! Alright, whatever. Oh man, I'm back up to where I was. Alright, this works, I think. Ah, uh, but that means I'm gonna have to fight another one. <sighs> God damn. Yeah, this, uh, this level is really stingy with ammo until you finally get to, like, the secret chamber. Which, uh, how did I get to the secret chamber again? Was it this way? Then again, this this way may also have a Frankenstein hiding in it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I think I remember how this is laid out. Let's grab our power-ups first. I would very much like to be able to challenge the uh, guards with the uh, chain gun if possible. There we go. Max out that ammo. Grab that super gun. Oh, and I can also retreat back here if I ever need to heal. Good to know. It's kind of a shame I can't, like, carry one of those with me and use it later. 
Alright, I have a lot of ammo, but not, like, maxed ammo, so I still gotta be a little careful. I'll stick with this gun for now until, like, I know I'm in the Frankenstein chamber. Which might be right around here. Yeah, yeah, this is the Frankenstein chamber. Hmm, can't quite get a good look. There we go. That's one way to do it. You can just bait them out by, like, stepping into their line of view. Alright, so if I remember correctly, uh, this is all... These last two hallways are safe. But then there's two more Frankensteins, like, right there. So you know what? I think I'm gonna do the, uh, dash in, dash out method again. In fact, if I want to, I could just leave. See ya. <laughs> Are they gonna follow me? That's definitely one thing I don't want to have happen, is for two Frankensteins to just show up where I at least expect them. You think maybe I went a little overboard? I just unleash a wall of death on that little spot there. I don't know if I got both of them or not. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just listen very, very carefully as we move forward. did follow me, the son of a gun. Alright, well now that the biggest threats are gone, let's uh, be a little bit more measured in dealing out justice. Oh, I haven't, I haven't cleared out this room yet. Yeah, this is, a uh, this is tense. I wonder how many levels there are per, like... Sorry, how many floors there are per level. Well, I know that that's all there is there. And then over here, I think there's some, like, minor guards. Although it might take me a while to find them. Yeah, this is the pillar room. Which, if I remember correctly, doesn't actually have all that much of interest in it, besides maybe whatever's in here. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, I think I'm clear to go ahead to the final room. Or what I presume is the final room. Anyone else? Anyone else? Pfft. Push over. Now let's check this last room for secrets. You never know. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Nice. I didn't kill everyone? Who did I miss? Eh, there was probably a guy hiding in one of the secret rooms. Wherever the hell that is. Very funny. Just throw a guy right at you at the beginning of the level. Oh shit! Oh. Alright, gloves are off. This game means business. We gotta check every corner. As we move forward. I, I hear you. I oh shit! Where'd he come from? Oof! That was a point-blank shot to the face. Again, where did he come from? Am I playing, like, Gauntlet and there's an enemy spot or somewhere that I'm missing? I 
coming from this hallway? Is this like a hallway of death? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of doors. I may have the chain gun, but it's not gonna matter if something gets to drop on me. On me. Thank you. Alright, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. So we got like... Fucking 12 doors. To check here. I heard that. I'm starting to pick up on the rules of aggro in this game. Was that just an empty chamber? Alright. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I'm a little better prepared this time. Alright, well, at least this game's generous with health if you uh, know where to look. Yeah, tell me about it. This is really spooky music, especially that pulsing sound. It's almost like a heartbeat. Definitely something here, but what? That may be our final destination, but first we gotta find, like, the super key. Or actually just a regular key. I'm starting to be able to tell the difference, although they, they could have made it a little bit more obvious what the difference between the doors was. Alright, so... That, like, corner door right there, that's the one I want to- FUCKING HELL! Alright, where's the health room? I thought I was ready for anything, but apparently not. I did not see that coming. What's really surprising is that he didn't come out to join his brothers out here after I triggered the first one. Oh yeah, there's also the death hallway. Who knows what's at the end of it. Hmm. Wait, are, are these like... Are those bones or is that just like... It kind of just looks like a pile of cigarette ash and those are like cigarette butts. I don't know. Some extra health, that's nice to know. Hmm. If this were a different kind of game, I would expect there to be, like, a zombie that pops up behind me after I pick up that key. Hello! Alright, much appreciated. I am topped off. <laughs> I literally don't think I can pick up any other upgrades besides maybe uh, an extra life, which I don't even know if that's a thing in this game. Do you ever get extra lives? Like, I've been racking up some pretty high scores, too. Wait. Where'd the key go? Am I just blind? Did I walk right past it? Yeah, I totally did. Alright. I am ready to go. But don't stop checking for, ch uh, for secrets, because... Uh, extra treasure might be what I need to get another uh, bleh, extra life. Alright, so I haven't opened any of these yet. Who knows what could be behind them. That's just a brick wall. <laughs> Something about that is kind of funny to me. For the love of God, Montresor! You know what, let's put the chain gun away for now. Yeah, it chews through ammo so fast, it's not good for, uh, you know, keeping a steady pace throughout the level. Right, we got some side chambers here, cool. Hello! 
<laughs> nice to meet you. It's not even a pun. I should be ashamed of myself. Hey, hey, hey. Get back here. <laughs> I actually got jump scared by the pickup. It like made a little flash on my screen and I thought that like an enemy shot me. Yeah, you did not see that coming. That's the only pun that I've got for today, folks. Oh, but it's good enough for you. Fucking hell. I was just a low-level soldier. Did he knock off almost half my health? Jesus Christ. And now I'm getting jump-scared by the freaking motorcycles or whatever they are that rev through at 1 a.m. at maximum volume. Seriously, I hate those guys, whoever they are. Alright, so that's just a brick wall, but this is, this is another little fork chamber, and on the other side is uh, some knights. Hey, how you doing? See, these guys carry melee weapons, they're harmless. Anyone else? I know I heard more people, but I don't know where I got shot from. Ooh, hello! I dare you to try that again. What, did he go to get a medic or something? Get back here. Yeah, that's definitely a trap if ever I have seen one. Could be that that was the door that the Frankensteins came out of. The medic is German, true. Gotta be prepared for anything. Did I already check over here? Yeah, I checked that door, but I didn't check this one. This kind of looks like it's just a big old prison cell or something. Not a lot to see. Mostly just skeletons. Alright, well, I guess I took out the trap before it went off. <laughs> the, the wall was a different color, and I thought that was like an enemy way off in the distance coming to get me. Alright, well, now I've got two keys, so I guess it's a good thing that I checked out both... Uh, both areas before I came to, uh, went, went forward for the final... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's good to have everything before you move forward. Oh, right, now I remember. It was this one. So that we get access to this. Thankfully, the, uh, Hitler portraits are harmless and they will not try to shoot you. Or so I have been led to believe. You know, of all things, this kind of makes me want to play Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I know that's a weird thing to think of, but it also had kind of a similar flow of gameplay where uh, you're, you're mostly just like restricted to a single X and Y axis, or X and Z axis, I guess, technically, as you move through a 3D maze trying to figure stuff out. I think there's another guy in here. Or am I home free? I think I'm home free. Yeah, that stuff right there is just a little pick-me-up in case you took a beating. Alright. Am I actually gonna beat one of these episodes? Ooh. Yeah, there's uh, some alternate colors right there. You know what, I'm gonna check these one by one before I go anywhere. Hello? Anyone home? Wow. Must have been one killer party! 
<laughs> okay. Hanging pots and pans. A decoration that serves no purpose other than to let you know that, yes, this was once the mess hall. And now it's just the mess. See, I can still come up with jokes. I'm just not very good at it. Wait, is that where I came from? I'm already lost. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I came in from there, and then these two doors connect. Okay, gotcha. Might want to save. Yeah, sure. Uh. Interface for saving is a bit weird. Alright, that goes back out to the hall. Uh, so does that, probably. Alright, well, now at least I know where the kitchen is, so I can come back and get some health if I need it. Over here... We got a Frankenstein. Maybe two, maybe just one. You can never tell with these guys. By the way, sorry if, like, the mouse, uh, like, me lifting and dropping my mouse is causing a bit of unintentional background noise. I do, I do have to kind of reset it because of mouse sensitivity. Sensitivity is a little bit low, and I'm not sure if I can change that. Alright. Shit, 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 shit. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, hold on a minute. That was bullshit. I was like right in his face, spraying my gun around, and I couldn't do shit. Oh good, and it starts me off right here in the kitchen. Let's try that again. That was a complete fluke. I refuse to accept that as a defeat. Just get one of these guys to, like, approach me. There you go. Oh, and there's a guy down there, too. Where'd you go? Is he just, like, on the other side of that, like, well? Is there any way he can come to get me? What even is that texture on the wall back there? I kind of want to find out, but I know that's very dangerous. Wait, did I get him? Oh, I got him! Okay, okay, no worries then. But yeah, there's gotta be a way that I can, like, get through. Holy shit! Well, now I have it live on recording. Just how miserable the car noises are around here. I know, I know, that picked up on the mic, it, like, arguably even louder than me. That shouldn't be possible. Alright, well maybe we'll end up getting back there eventually. And hey, that's one more threat knocked out. Wait, is that just where I came from? Yep, that's the entrance elevator, we don't want to go there. There's probably something spooky waiting for me around here. Aha! Gotcha. Really? I thought for sure that would be how I get to, like, the purple zone. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Okay, I have no idea how to get that secret. It's fine, though. So, what else we got here? Uh, that's still the kitchen. Where I oh 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 I think the enemies come back after I reload a save. And in that case, maybe I should double check the pantry. I don't remember if there's any enemies in there or not. Uh, not really. Man, is there really no secret here in the kitchen? Yeah, what a waste. I really want to know how to get to that place where the where the purple wall was. Hello. 
That was a lucky shot. I got him before he went to tell any of his friends. Alright. Oh, I don't think so. What was that? Oh, I got him. <laughs> again, again, I'm knocking out these guys without even realizing it. Which I don't want to say in a cocky fashion. Because that is going to get me killed if I act like I am the master of this game. So I'm just going to say that it was... Pure luck. And nothing more. Oh, I heard something. Anyone down that way? That's just a knight. Wait, what? I guess I've already been down this way? Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just came from there. Uh, I hate how much of this, like, uh, livestream talk is just boiling down to, Oh, where am I? Oh, right, I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm there. Fun times. There's definitely more dogs in here somewhere. No? Alright. I guess let's probe the walls for secrets. It's gonna... I was about to say, even though it's gonna take my whole goddamn life. Woo, look at that. That's where they keep all the good food. Now I feel like Pac-Man. Oh, did I get... Uh, did I finally get an extra life? Because if so, I don't know when. I have no idea when that happened. I just... when I, I... did I get my third life when I loaded my save? Who knows. Alright. Right, I already came in here. Anybody home? I think I've established at this point that none of these are capable of opening. Like, not even for a secret passage. These jail cells are just painted on. I think I got my first extra life at 40,000, but not your second at 80,000, so maybe the requirement goes up. Yeah, that's how it usually works in arcade games. I don't think so. Very nice of them to include, like, double health right after that. All right, so I guess that's a place where you would want to go if you wanted to get, uh, you know, the automatic gun. And you didn't have it at this point. I did get a key. So where do I need to use said key? I've also been in here. Oh, right, there's like a central chamber. All right, into the brick zone. I... Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is like how they set up the Cyber Demon Arena in Doom. Aha! Yeah, that, that sound. That sound is how you uh, know that you got a 1-up. All right, cool. Very nice. Great, you're in Kid Icarus's house. <laughs> Good one. I'm surprised I didn't think of that. Man, I'm go I'm kind of gonna miss the bricks joke. I hope that they come back when we least expect it. I didn't even get shot by those guys. I'm on top of it. Oh, shit! That's what this game does. It waits for you to lower your guard, and then it gets you. You can't be complacent with this game.
Oh, whoa, 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 I heard, I heard, I heard another door. Is that just the other one that I opened? <laughs> You're on top of shit. Uh, that's, uh, I just walked right into that one. Hello, I see you. Come at me if you dare. Alright, we good? We good? I think we're good. Very nice. I know that these guys have, like, a listening radius. So, like, if I trigger guys in one room, they may come out of another. Alright. What do we got in here? Is that another Frankenstein? I think it is. Oop, there's another one. Anyone else? Yep, there's another one. Three! Count them, three! And they were guarding the super key. All right, now we're good to go. I just need to find one room to backtrack into that has a spare health kit. Like, uh, oh yeah, still one here. You know what just hit me? In all the years that I played, like, Team Fortress 2 and other shooters, I don't think I've ever seen, like, a uh, Wolfenstein map ported to any of those games. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that that's a good idea. Because these Wolfenstein maps are pretty claustrophobic and just, like, non-stop hallways. Should I do this in reverse order? Yeah, let's try this in reverse order. Ooh! You never know which side they're gonna come from. I still haven't found the secret that leads to that weird purple room. Crazy how fast the sprint is. Oh, and this game definitely ran slower on the original hardware. Alright, I think this is my final destination. So we'll come back to that. Anyone in here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Is that an extra life? That just looks like a bubble with the doom with the Wolfenstein guy's head in it. Yeah, this is like the first extra life item I found in the entire game. Neat. <laughs> I heard you. I feel kind of bad that those guys encourage spamming bullets, because then the. Uh, uh, then the little audio sample for my neighbor gets cut off. Oh well, if you want to hear it in, like, better than real life quality, then you want to watch, uh, that, that one animation. Uh, we gotta get Spongebob back. There, there's a pretty good mein Lieben in there. Which, I don't even know what that means. Does it mean my god or like my lord? Like are they are they calling out for God or are they calling out for Hitler? That's the question. Oh jeez, did I already find everything here? Huh. Alright, I guess the, this game can go pretty quickly sometimes. <laughs> Hello there! Not this time. Oh shit! Oh, that would have been the most embarrassing thing ever if I, like, downed that guy without taking damage and then the little man with his stupid helmet peppers me once and I'm dead. My liver? I don't know. Could be, for all I know. Could be my liver. How many levels are... Oh... Well, now we're in the goop zone. Shit, 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 shit. I, I should be more aware of guys trying to get me right as I start the level. Because, where did he come from? 
Uh, because this game has already tried it once, so it's gonna try it again. Seriously, what is this? Can you guys, like, puzzle out for me what this texture is supposed to be? Because the only thing that comes to my mind is, like, the hoo-hoo blocks, <laughs> of all things. The, the round, pinkish hoo-hoo blocks from Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Like, when you go up to the top of Hoo-Hoo Mountain, there's just a pile of them, and they kind of look like this. You know, they kind of look like they have little smiling faces on them. But it could be, like, I don't know, pink alien eggs smothered in feces? <laughs> Who knows? Looks like goo. That's, uh, probably the simplest and most accurate answer. No one here. Yet. I knew I was going to run into one of those guys eventually. Very nice. I am topped off once again. Maybe they have horrible taste in wallpaper. Well, you could argue that the Nazis had terrible taste in every... In, in, in many things. Hold on a minute. Before I go inspecting blood spatters on walls, I'd better make sure that there's nothing around that's going to turn me into a blood spatter on the wall. Are you kidding me? That is so suspicious! But apparently that's not a secret passage. I can take it as, like, advanced warning that some of these guys are nearby. God, these, these narrow-ass corridors are the worst. You seriously don't know what's gonna be behind them. Around every corner. Like that guy, for instance. He could have shredded my health off in an instant if I let him. is high in this level. And no amount of pretty bird statues is going to make this okay. I heard something. It's definitely something else in this hallway. I refuse to believe otherwise. Hello! Ugh, it's so twisty in here. I hate it. This is gonna be a nightmare to navigate without a map. Alright, cool. Was there any point in me going in here? Yeah, he probably would just try to ambush me if I left him alone. Oh, wait. I've already been here. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be one heck of a maze, isn't it? Ooh! <laughs> the crosses are cool, but they will only heal my soul, not my wounds. I don't even know where to backtrack for health now. I'm sure I left some somewhere. But where? God, I've ended up back at the beginning of the level. <laughs> What the wall textures are is very hard to tell, but their purpose is clear to confuse you. Yeah, they, it's working all right.
Can I have a doctor? No, we only have Jesus. Of all things, why did that spark my memory about the uh, Mario movie trailer coming out today? I, it's just the fact that I said it with a vaguely, slightly Italian accent. And that was what reminded me that the Mario movie trailer came out today. I'm assuming everyone here has seen it. Or at least is aware that it's coming. Like, maybe you've seen a few screenshots of it. I know that's how I found out about it. I saw... Probably one of the first images I saw was of Toad. Uh, with very angry eyebrows. Actually, not even eyebrows. He just had, like, facial muscles expressing uh, genuine anger. Even though all he was actually doing in the trailer was, like... Uh, warning Mario about a bad mushroom. I'm starting to lose track of where I've been... Hello, there's something here. There's something so far down that way that I can't even see it. Oh shit, it can it can shoot me. It can shoot me. Oh, there he is. Hold on a minute there, cowboy. <sighs> Who'd have thought there'd be two of them? Just the sentence Toad had facial muscles is already too advanced for what we're used to. <laughs> Alright, I'm not giving up. Although maybe I should. Alright, hold on a minute. That guy was, like, ridiculously resistant to hit stun. Alright, now I got me some ammo. Shit! If I make it out of there in, like, good condition, then I'm making a save. Cause that was freaking ridiculous. Okay, they are affected by hit stun a little bit. Just not all that much. I know there's a guy in here. Where is he? Isn't there? Okay, maybe not. I could have sworn there was another guy in here. Maybe he's down here? Ugh, god, like... I know that there's that one hallway where there's, like, one on each side. And I really don't want to go in there without an automatic weapon. You know what, this is as good as any place to save. Alright, I think I can do this. It's gonna be very hard now that I've lost access to my chain gun, but... I think I can do this. Alright, seriously, where did that come from? That was where he was hiding. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Uh, so what was I trying to say about the Mario movie? Uh, I'm excited for it. I saw the trailer and I was honestly kind of impressed with what I saw. Especially that first scene with, uh, you know, King Koopa, King of the Koopas, doing his thing. Hello. Just casually conquering a kingdom of penguins. Uh, Jack Black as Bowser turned out to be... Holy shit, I didn't expect to find this. Uh, Jack Black as, ba as Bowser. I I knew ahead of time that it was probably going to end up being pretty good, but I was seriously expecting him to just sound like Jack Black. But in the trailer, he puts off a pretty convincing new uh, villain voice. And I think it works pretty well. Anyone else? Yeah, there's someone else. Hey, you, 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 you. Huh? Holy shit, that's a that's an entire room of death right there. 
I guess they gave me the chain gun for a reason. I didn't think I was going to have to go ham with it so quick, though. Alright, so let's play this smart. Let's wait for him. And I'll break this out when I know that the Frankensteins are close. Did the other one, like, not hear me? Alright, that works. Alright, so this is my destination chamber. I'll come back here when I've got, like, the super key. Wherever it is. If any of the voices... If any of the movie actors were actually going to take voice acting lessons, it'd be Jack Black. Yeah, Jack Black has experience with video games. I'm not sure why that's relevant to him landing a job with uh, Illumination, but... I mean, he's good. He's good at what he does. Aha! Excellent. So, who were the other casting choices? I think the voice for Toad was Keegan-Michael Key. Which, I know that some people are a big fan of, but I just don't know enough about him, so I couldn't really offer an opinion, but... What little we saw of Toad from that trailer looks like it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be... It's hard to say. He could end up being uh, one of those really annoying kinds of comic relief characters, depending on how they write him. But if they write good material for him, then that could be, like, one of the best Toads that we've ever had as voice. Charlie Day's Luigi. Well, too bad we didn't actually get to hear him say anything. He was just spooked by skeletons and stuff. That's your character. You 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 get scared. You you run from things. Now voice it. Voice it like you mean it. Have I been here already? Hang on a minute. Yes, got him. If anything was going to kill me, it was that hallway right there. Glad Toad doesn't do his usual Toad voice for a full production. Yeah, that would have been... That would have been... Just, like, beyond annoying. That would have been... Deafening, almost. So is there anyone... Ay! Yeah, there is people in here. Okay, I think I recognize this place a little bit. Let's poke around just a little bit more before we go in there. Oh. I keep getting jump scared by the ammo pickups. Did I, did I already come this way? I can't even remember anymore. And that's definitely going to get me killed at some point. It, like, not remembering where anything is. But hey, found a uh, treasure trove. That's good. This would definitely be a good place to save. Uh, we didn't hear a peep out of whoever it was uh, that does Princess Peach. I'm a little bit worried about her. Uh, that bingo card that I referenced earlier that said, like, uh, what was it? Like, it, it, it anticipated that uh, Chris Pratt was going to do a passable Italian accent for Mario, but it wasn't going to sound like Mario. And I think that's kind of where it's going. Yeah, I should mention Chris Pratt while I'm at it. Uh, it's all right. I don't find it to be offensively bad or anything. Can I even hit these guys from here? Yeah! Yeah, I got one of them. Now, where's the other one? Gotcha! I knew it! There's another one! Eat shit. Just sounds like Chris Pratt. It could be worse. 
Like, you gotta admit, it could be way worse with what we're working with here. And maybe it's for the best that it's not like Bing Bing Wahoo, Charles Martinet voice. Similar to the Toad voice, like, that might actually get irritating if uh, they use that for an entire movie. Oh shoot, I found one key, but I don't think it's the one that I need. Definitely want to hear what the hell Donkey Kong sounds like. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong was on the bingo card too. Uh, and the bingo card item was that Seth Rogen does not change his voice at all for Donkey Kong. Oh shit! That was a mean ambush room. Like, holy shit, I didn't even get anything for that. Oh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. There's no health in here, that's what I need. Jesus Christ. All right, well, I really hope I find some health along the way back. Uh, yeah, not, I'm not holding out any hope whatsoever for Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Just because, uh, like, every role that he's taken in the past, no matter how interesting it might sound on paper, it's just always devolved into the exact same thing. Which, if you like the guy, if you like his voice by default, then I guess that's okay. But me, I'm already getting sick of that laugh that he does. So, doubtless we're gonna hear that, if nothing else. I have no idea where I've ended up. If I make one wrong move, I am toast. Alright, that's like the diagonal hallway at the beginning. There's this hallway. I might call it primitive, but you appreciate the simplicity of this game. I do too. I'm having fun with it. It's a very tense sort of fun. Uh, not one that I can appreciate, like, every day, but it's still good. I think I'll have a lot more fun with this kind of game when I end up playing I Am Mean. Uh, no idea when that's going to be, but someday I do actually want to play that, like, legitimately. Not just as a joke. Two elevators. Is one of them, like, a Jape elevator? I'm gonna say before I open this one. That's, like, super suspicious. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> wow, I did not expect them to throw, like, the fake exit trick at me. Man, did they not even get me, like, uh, give me a secret chamber as a reward for doing that? Like, come on. Uh, I guess it's in my best interest to just go right ahead. Oh, I found every secret? I found every treasure! Look at that! Nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna save immediately here, because chances are there's death waiting for me right around the corner. Let's see, how long have I been going, by the way? Uh, I think I'll go for maybe one more hour tops. Almost killed everyone, too. Yeah, I don't know where the last guy was. Well, the key's just right there. Hmm. Something funny going on here. Like, that wasn't a puzzle at all. Alright, well, it's not quite full health, but it'll do. For all I know, this could be, like, a boss fight right here. Alright, one more, one more save. Alright, so, last opinion on the Mario trailer, and that is the, the bingo item featuring Princess Peach. 
Uh, it was. It took up four whole spots on the bingo sheet to say that uh, uh, Princess Peach was gonna like have an action scene dedicated to her, where she like rescues herself from Bowser's castle or whatever, and like looks directly at the screen and issues some kind of cheesy girl power li uh, line. <laughs> Huh? Is that all you got? No, surely there's more. Well, I'll be. Maybe this is a bonus level. Yeah, like, if I poke around and explore every single secret, maybe I could, like, get a really big score. Or I could just cut and run. It's starting to look like that's exactly what's happening here. Come on, I know there was another one in there. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, well, let's try not to get lost in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Really? I thought for sure there was going to be dudes on either side of there trying to ambush me, but nope. Three packs of ammo. What's that? <laughs> that was the sound of a door opening. Shit, there's another one. I heard it. I don't know where it was. A door opened somewhere. What the hell is going on here? Do they all know where I am? Are they coming after me? God, imagine having to deal with, like, multiple Mr. X's in, uh, Resident Evil. Oh yeah, this is definitely a place where you can score big. If you're willing to take the risk. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what- oh, jeez. Alright, well I at least want to like spawn in with my uh, stuff intact. Mr. X, Y, and Z. Uh, wait a minute. All right, there we go. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna give this a fair shake. I wanna see how far I can get with it, and hopefully not die too much along the way. Wasn't there like a guy in here? Oh, there's a guy down there. Yeah, let's try going this way this time. Because apparently that side is not so consequential. Yeah, so we'll just pick these up. Uh, admire the art. And just be on our way. Alright, that's two down. I know there's a whole bunch of these guys. So we're going to listen very carefully for any doors that open. Nearly got me. Alright, let's do the lone door first. Anyone in here? I know there is, I just can't see him yet. Where the hell are ya? Oh, there you are. Oh, shit. Uh, surprisingly empty room. Hmm. It's just like a weird triangle. But looks are deceiving sometimes. Shit, there could be anything in here. Or it could be nothing. It's 
super gun. Aha! I heard that. Anyone else? Is there like a second guy in here? Nope, that's it. I'm noticing a distinct lack of uh, health pickups in this level. Is that the gimmick? That like, you can score a ton of points, but there's no health refills? In the event that that's the case, I might want to go ahead and save here. So that I can like, bail later if I feel like I need to. Yeah, it's like you had one health cache at the beginning of the level, and that's it. Now, this is ominous. What the hell? I gotta say, they're very smart with how they use uh, level decor, considering how little they had to work with. See, the problem was that I looked left when I should have looked right. How many times am I going to say that? Clearly, I need to stop looking left. Just always assume that the enemy is going to be on your right. Alright, now I know you're there. So come on with your hands up! You want some too? Eh, I got plenty for all of you. Although now I have jammed the door, so there's nowhere left for me to hide, but that's okay. Alright, clearly that's why you want to embark on this little adventure, is for the super surplus of extra lives. Which I'm sure are very helpful if you're trying to go for like a super duper high school. In fact, that was probably the, like, the main treasure that you want to get out of this level. You gotta be right or you'll be left behind. <laughs> ah. Wait. How did I get to 100 le uh, health? D did my health refill when I picked up the extra life? I seriously do not remember running across any health pickups. Oh, come on. Surely there's another one in there. Or not. I do remember that this was the guy that killed me before, so... Well, anyway. Final door, I think. Alright, I think I got it. I think I cleared this place. Yeah, nothing in there. No secret panels. Like, the whole level was a secret panel. Again, very creative idea to include a level like this. Alright, and now we leave. Let's see how good we did. I still missed secrets. <laughs> Ow! Alright, seriously, can I get to the end of one of these chapters, please? Like, it's, it's weirding me out how the levels just keep going up. Is this game actually really, really big? And I have no idea what I stumbled into? Pots. An adventurer's worst enemy. Okay, just some ammo. Huh? Wait, did I get another one? No shit. Nested secrets. Okay, I somehow ended up in uh, the push block maze. Anything else? No. 
No. Well, that's weird. Why would it just end here? I'm, I'm touching every single one of these. Oh, there we go. I think. Boy, this thing is sure open slow. What the hell is behind all this security? Like, seriously, this is getting ridiculous. What is going on here? I feel like I'm in the middle of one of those, like, trick rooms in Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, where, like, you just keep on following the hallway, and eventually it starts narrowing in on you and kills you. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Oh my god. How deep does the rabbit hole go? It's gonna take me forever to get out of this! Like, I just maxed out my lives in the previous level, so what could they possibly have for me here? Uh... Once again, it appears as though I have hit a dead end. Oh, this is so weird. And, like, if I get really lost, I can't just consult a map or anything like that, because how the hell am I going to figure out where I am? Oh, God, this is, like, making me dizzy. Yeah, this is like an SCP or something. Just this entity of walls in a maze that punishes you for digging deeper. Oops. And you know what sucks? If you're going for 100% completion in this game, you have to trigger all those anyway. Even though they lead nowhere and basically get you nothing. Okay, well, at least it's not symmetrical. I would have flipped out if there was another one right on the other side there. Okay, that felt like a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> this game is getting some noises out of me, let me tell you. What even is this? This is just another death chamber. This is just where the skeletons hang out. Yeah, it was a little known uh, bit of trivia that Hitler was attempting to recruit skeletons into his army. He would have amassed a huge army of bone men and taken over the world, except he didn't. Sorry, the, the door noises keep spooking me. Hello. Well, here's where they keep spears, if you're into that kind of thing. Oh wait, did I just go in a circle? I think I did. I gotta remember that a lot of these doors are, uh... You know, two doors, one room. Also, this just split into three doors. I heard you. You gave yourself away, Mr. Lieben. And I even got a health pack to spare. Isn't that lovely? Jung! <laughs> you almost got me while I was reading the sign. You sneaky dog, you. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh, two doors. They both go to the same place. However, they require the yellow key. You can tell because the lock is... Y yellow. Uh... <clears throat> Huh. 
I'm channeling my inner DK. <laughs> Wait, you, you think I would make a good Donkey Kong voice actor for the Mario movie? I wonder. Oh, if you're talking about that lone that I did earlier, that, that was because I heard, like, the big blue guy uh, starting up his <laughs> laugh. Man, it sits broken. God, did you guys ever hear that impression that Vinny did of, uh, what was it? Chat member asked him to do a ridiculous combination of, uh, like, the various voices that he's put on before. It was like, Seth Rogaine impersonating Elmo, impersonating Beetlejuice hiding under the floorboards with Harrison Ford. Or some ridiculous combination like that. It was, uh, it was definitely a sound <laughs> that came out of his throat. What do you think's hiding in here, fellas? Hello. <laughs> this almost makes me think that you could do a quote-unquote uh, stealth run of this game, where you catch every guard unawares and, like, take them out in one shot. But the fact of the matter is that there's a lot of rooms in this game where... The enemy is just right there. It's just impossible to try and sneak past them. That being said, I'm doing pretty good for myself here, aren't I? Well, we, know, we all know how that goes. Something in one of these doors is gonna completely ruin my day. What, what kind of room is this? Like the table storage. This is, uh, where they keep their trash, where they keep the ash, where they burn the coals and turn to ash. Is this supposed to be a bathroom? Like, they didn't have graphics for the toilets, so just, you know, <laughs> just pee in the holes. Eh, for all I know, that might be how ancient castles did it. They just dug holes inside the rooms. Okay, that has to be, like, that, 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 that's like a chamber pot right there. No secret passages in the bathrooms. Bedrooms? Wow, I actually just found a straight-up soldier's barracks in here. Alright, well, note to self, come back here if I run low on health. Yeah, this is a very cozy part of uh, Hitler's grand domain. <laughs> Let your guard down, even for the little guys. You know, come to think of it, isn't Nazi gold a thing? Like, I've, I've heard that referred to before. Like, did the Nazis actually plunder a crap load of gold during their uh, reign of terror? And maybe that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, B BJ Blazkowicz is doing the world a favor by reuniting everyone with their lost treasures. I don't know. In, in lieu of a story, you kind of have to make things up yourself. Let's see, did I already probe this area for secrets? Uh, yeah. I checked in here. I guess so. Can I open this door? I think I can. I just want to be, make real sure that I'm not, like, leaving myself exposed. So I'm searching for the yellow key. I'm pretty sure that will bring me to the exit. Back in the Middle Ages, bathrooms were handled by dudes on the street with huge coats and buckets. You'd pay them, and they would hide you in their coat while you did their business in the bucket. Did you just make that up? 
That sounds just weird enough to be true. You were not worth blasting my chain gun for, sir. How dare you jump scare me like that. You, on the other hand, I know what your deal is. I needed every last one of those bullets. Hey, it was worth it. I got out of there without taking any damage. So that's an accomplishment. Now I actually need all these uh, ammo stashes. Oh yeah, thinking of first-person shooter games, uh, you guys know that there's like... Um, like that parody FPS game coming out from the makers of uh, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, right? So like, that's that inter internet simulator game. Uh, kind of, sort of, that I like a whole lot. Uh, and the FPS spinoff is, like, from the POV of the edgy teen character from that game. Like, he, he created it, so it's like his uh, self-insert fanfiction kind of thing. It's all very tongue-in-cheek, and I love it. But I'm not sure if I want to invest in playing it. Now, the full sequel to Hypnospace Outlaw, Dream Settler, that's right up my alley. That's just more of that internet uh, simulator goodness that I love. Slayer's X, eh, I think I'll probably just stick to watching a streamer play it. Where was that? Oh, here we go. Anyone else? I just dealt with three blue men. I can handle a bunch of Terminator zombie Frankensteins. Huh. Uh... There should have been an exit here. What gives? Hmm. Was that actually, like, a dead end? Huh. Well... Back to the drawing board. Where have I not been? Oops. Alright, what the hell's going on here? Do I have to go back to, like, the big central chamber where I came in? Well, that's where I am. Uh, did I miss something in here? Is that what I'm looking for? No, I've been in here. Huh. Did I go in here? Yes. Oh, wasn't there something like in here? Ah, here we go. That's the exit. Okay, okay. Whew. I think I can only handle another, like, one or two levels. I'll see if I can get to floor 10. I opened all those passages and I only got 8% of the secrets. Are you kidding me? What is this music? No way. There's no way there's nothing in here. Well, that's getting downright discordant. Oh, oh! I really don't like that sound. Hello, what do we got here? <laughs> An entire year's supply of ammo. No, you, you can't just send me through here like, like it's nothing. Hey, there's got to be a boss fight somewhere. <sighs> hey, got another secret. Uh... Is that 
mean that there's a similar passage right around here? Eh, maybe not. I just realized that this is this isn't just like American music parody. This is an, an American music medley. Like that part that gets real discordant, that's supposed to be my country tis of thee. You guys are not going to believe this. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Something happened when I triggered the secret wall, and I ended up getting stuck inside the wall. I don't think there's any no-clip option. Uh... Is this how this game ends? With me stuck in a wall? I really don't want to have to reload my previous save. And there's no enemies around either, so I can't, like, kill myself. Unbelievable. <sighs> like, is there a suicide button at least? Let's see. Uh... Oh, hang on a minute. I could have strafed this whole time. Hang on a minute. Just hold Alt. I, I was I was hoping maybe the strafe would help me get out, but nope. And that was probably, like, the last level, too, for that particular floor. Alright, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find a solution here. At the very least, some kind of uh, cheat code would help. Yeah, is there like a... Uh... Oh god, there's individual cheats for each individual version. Alright, let's see here. Uh... Okay, okay, I got something, I got something. Alright, so apparently the cheats on PC, the PC port, uh, require you to uh, hold tab and then press the corresponding key. So. Shit, it's not working. Let's see. Uh, okay, there are some extra steps. Uh... How the hell? <laughs> okay, that's one cheat you can do. That happens if you press B, A, and T. Uh, I may have to restart this in order to uh, get one of these to work. In fact, you know what? I should check the, uh, the Steam page. There ought to be a reliable guide here. Let's see, cheats, cheats, cheat, cheat, cheats. Oh my god. OK, 
Okay, this is gonna take a bit of doing. I do want to see the end of this level. Because we came so fucking close. This is obviously the end. I refuse to have this be the end. So, we're gonna close that down. I'll just play a bit of music in the background while we wait. Um, well, that's not what I need. Uh, let me do, let me just find like an image to throw up. Well, that works, I guess. Okay, let's see what it wants me to do here. All right, go to Steam, Steam apps. Uh, common Wolfenstein 3D, base. Yes, hello, base department. Uh, two config files, one called Wolf3D and Wolf called one called Wolf3DC. Uh, Wolf3DC is the one with cheats enabled. I don't see either of them. Huh. Where are these config files? I wonder if I can directly edit my save game. Nope. Nope. It's all spaghetti. I can't read it. Where the hell is this? Only one KB file that listed the thing. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, where is this config file? How long ago was my last save? It was probably pretty far back. Like, far back enough to where I think it'll take me longer to get that running, like, to get back to where I was, than it will to uh, figure out this cheat situation. Uh, okay, I found some configuration files. They are not where this guide said they would be. Let's see. It's in DOSBox. So... Let's see here. Full 3D configuration. Maybe there's a... Uh something I can search for in here. No, nope, no cheat. No, nothing there. Uh, let me see if I can find an auto-exec. No? Can I at least show you guys what I'm looking at here? Let me see here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so, this thing is what I'm looking through to try and get things enabled. Uh, this thing's recommending that I copy things below the auto-exec line, which I don't even see where that can be. Are these all, like, commented out? Can I, like, re-enable one of them? I tried searching for, you know, C-H-E-A-T, -E and I got nothing. Hmm. There was also, like, a keyword, like, goobers or something that apparently you used to have to run in the command line for this game. Ugh, I just don't see it. I'll just look at another one. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if I can launch this from uh, the command line. I mean, I doubt it, but it might be worth a try. All right, well, what happens if I just run Wolf 3D? Oh, this app can't run on your PC. Okay, good to know. What if I try running DOSBox? 
Uh. Ooh, I'm not ready for that. Oh my god, this is so complicated. Of all things, it's a physics glitch that turned out to be the greatest threat. I know! I can't believe that that happens. Yeah, let's turn all the channels back on for this song. Ugh, I really don't like how off-rhythm off this uh, MIDI is. Uh, oh, right, I was supposed to look for launch options. Right, 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 right. Uh, launch options. All right, let's look at that. I was able to... Okay, Zelda 5 says I was able to enter debug mode by pasting... Oh, my God. Period, base, backslash, base, slash, DOS box. Uh, shit, you know what? I'm just going to copy and paste all this. All right. Minus full screen, minus exit, exit. Uh... Okay, I don't know if this is going to change anything, but let's try it. Alright, don't mind that. Uh, the game may just be launching normally. Alright, let's see here. How do you enable the, uh, the thing? Oh god. Left shift alt and backspace. You know, part of the problem is that this game like interprets uh alt as being like exit. So that's not that's not what we want. You know what, maybe I should just try launching this from the previous level. Like I hate to say it, but we've run out of better options. Actually, you know what? That wasn't that long ago. I guess we'll just roll with this. Oh. Ugh, I feel like a real chump for having that happen to me. And in a place with absolutely no threats. Jesus. Alright, let's try our best. Again, now that I like know the layout of the level, it shouldn't be that hard. I do still need to find the yellow key, though. And I do not remember where it is. Found the gold key. We finally got the full mine Leben clip. Yeah. All right, now if I can just remember where the exit is. Let's see. It was somewhere not too far away. In fact, it might just be right here. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Okay. Oh, by the way, why are end game and quit separate options? That's a little weird. 
Alright, I don't even think that I really need to, like, get all that much on this level. I'll just open up the doors and be on my way. Yeah, wasn't it, like, one of these that opened up really weird? And that's what trapped me? And now it's not even doing it. So, like, what the hell happened? I... <laughs> That there's gonna be a riddle for the ages. <laughs> Boy, that one just kept on moving, didn't it? Ugh! I hate this song. It is revolting! Whenever I hear that sound, I just think of, like, certain Sega Genesis, uh, tracks that I've heard from, like, Sonic games. Want something to get your mind off of things? Found a video with Mario's voice from the trailer in different languages. Hey, it sounds cool. Let's check it out. Weehee. <laughs> Toad sounds pretty good here, too. Yeah, Mario barely even says anything. How appropriate that we're getting the uh, German dub, the German dub now. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not leave. What's going on here? Like, there's not a lot of different doors here. What am I missing? Yeah, the, the toad is so distracting that, like, I don't even know what Mario sounds like. Because, like, all my attention is on toad. Uh, why can't I leave? Like, that is the elevator door, isn't it? Oh shit, where did they come from? Oh, you know what it was? I, I feel real dumb about this. I was going back the way I came and not realizing it. Anyway... Come on, you guys are the no Oh shit, what is that? What the fuck was that? Actually, you know what? You know what? Hang on a minute. Let me let me like just grab the ammo real quick and uh run back in there. Like I just want like a good look at that guy's face. Oh, also, he throws projectiles. That's new. You know, the ability to strafe would come in real handy right about now. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 watch it. I'm gonna take another shot at him when he comes through. And I'm running for it. Open the goddamn door! Alright, is he still following me? Looks like he might have given up a little bit. Oh, right, thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah, I actually completely forgot about, uh, the strike option. Hey, you, you want to fight me in the food room? Actually, don't do that. I need to go refill on ammo. 
Mein Gott im Himmel! Good noise! Oh nice! I get like an instant replay! Mein Gott im Himmel! Neat! I win! Oh, that was cool. That was, uh, that was fun. You stand over Sharp's fat, evil, swollen, putrid body. Glad your mission is finally over. All his equipment will be destroyed, along with his journals. Humanity is safe from his hordes of hideous mutants. Yet the Nazi atrocities continue. Thousands march to death camps, even as the Nazi war machine falls to its knees. There's only one way to stop the madness. In episode 3, Hitler hides in his titanic bunker as the Third Reich crumbles around him. It is your job to assassinate him, ending his mad reign. You find he has escaped to the Reichstag, and there you must confront him. If, if you like Wolfenstein, you'll love this prequel trilogy of nocturnal missions. 30 more action-packed super-challenging levels. I did this. Alright, that was cool. Uh, so what kind of... Okay, okay, I see. I think, uh, the first iteration of Doom did this too. So... They were all broken up into these individual episodes that you fought, uh, separately. Or that you played separately. And I think you also bought separately? So, like, they distributed the first episode as freeware. Again, if, if my memory of, like, game history is correct. So, like, the, the first episode, the first ten missions or whatever, that was your demo for the game. If you like that, you could go on and buy the rest, play them one after the other to see the thrilling conclusion to the story. Alright, very, very cool. Although, very peculiar choice of boss music. I'm not sure I agree with that. <laughs> All right, just one more thing that I want to check out before I leave. What is Spear of Destiny? Like, I didn't buy that. I didn't buy DLC. So what could this be? Obviously built on the same engine as Wolfenstein. Spear of Destiny. I hope it's got a demo. I love that, like, Yamaha bass synth wave. The Carmack Brothers and John Romero, they were the masterminds behind it all. It's too bad they didn't record their actual high scores. Like, that might have been an interesting challenge to try to beat. <laughs> Detumo. Oh, is that what the game actually ran like back in the day? I wonder. Uh, looks kind of samey. Like, they even got the same portraits of Hitler on the wall. Oh, that guy knew. Whoever was recording this demo just knew everything. <laughs> Except for the guy that was standing right behind him, sucker. Hey, let's take a quick look at this, uh, just real quick. Because I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like, uh, some kind of secret final mission for Wolfenstein. Secret. More, more like... Yeah. Uh... More, more like, here's the final DLC if you want to buy it. It doesn't look like there's a lot to it. Except for vines. Like, I guess that's kind of cool. It looks like you're, you're in some kind of underground bunker. <laughs> I wish the secrets were this easy to find throughout the whole game, but man. When they say secret, they mean secrets. Ain't no one finding that without 
pressing every single wall. Oh, but there might be new music. Check this out. Wait for it. They're gonna be coming. <laughs> Come on, you goonies. I know you're in there waiting for me. Oh, what's that? Do we have new Hitler portraits? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. What would... What would happen? Like, would I get per permanent banned from Animal Crossing New Horizons if I painted that and just put it on the ground somewhere? Oh, by the way, end of the first level. I, I accidentally stumbled upon the exit in, like, less than two minutes. Oh, this time you can actually control the elevator door. It's... it's... holy shit, I think it is aggroed like an... I, I just woke up the bee's nest by, by shooting that guy. Like, did you hear how many people were reacting? Gotta say, for how much trepidation I went into this game with, I'm, I'm finding it surprisingly difficult to put down. And of course, like... Hello. Uh, however much uh, enjoyment people got out of uh, this game, they probably got twice as much out of Doom. So I think I gotta play that someday, too. Ooh. I woke up the nuts, bees. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Well, I don't really see a significant difference, like, significant enough difference between this and, uh... <laughs> wow. These game developers were sassy back then. Well, anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's Wolfenstein 3D. I am glad to have <laughs> confronted my fear. It's still a freaky game. It will still freak me out uh, just because of the nature of the game, how it's like a little bit rusty con to control, and you don't have very good peripheral vision. You don't even have a map. I wonder if I'd enjoy the newer Wolfenstein. Probably not. <laughs> if I had to take a wild guess, I it would probably just be like bog standard modern 3D shooter stuff, as far as I'm concerned. But who knows. Also, I seem to have trapped my mouse cursor. Okay, I need to close that because it was taking complete control of my mouse cursor and I don't want that. All right, well, that's it for today. I've got another day of work coming up and then, no wait, I've got a day off coming off. I've got a day of work coming up. No, holy shit, speak correctly. I need to like point at a calendar in order to remind myself of what my upcoming schedule for this week is. Jesus. Tomorrow, Friday, I'm off work, but I have to go to bed early, so no stream. Saturday, uh, work. Sunday, work. But I have a day off after that, so Sunday I'm going to be back with Ebe, the 2022 remastering. And that's probably going to be a lot of fun to revisit. Uh, after that, we'll keep you guys posted on the schedule, on the Discord server. Uh, I don't think anyone's here that is not a part of that server. But I'm going to try to remember to shout it out every now and again so that we can hopefully get more people to join. I really want more, more people to join us for uh, just watching anime at this point. My Hero Academia has been a blast to revisit. So I hope we can get more people in to watch that at some point or another. But for, for me to like actively make that happen... I would probably have to promote our Discord server while playing and live streaming a My, Ar My Hero Academia game. And I don't really feel like doing that right now, so maybe maybe someday I'll do like a promotion like that, see what happens. But for now, I am done for the night. I'm going to get going, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a wonderful night. Y'all have a good sleep. I will leave you with this image that keeps popping up on Steam that I find to be very... Curious. Yeah, let me see if I can capture it. No, that's not it. Oh, it's not capturing! It's just a big black box. Oh. Here, let me let me try this. No, nope, can't drag and drop it. Fine, I'll I'll save it. And then I'll show you, because like it's it's pretty good.
it, it's something that keeps showing up in the like community tab for Wolfenstein 3D. And it is uh, this. The evolution of not not Doom Guy, but uh, Wolfman. Not the Wolfman. Uh, B.J. Blaskowicz. Wolfenstein RPG? What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Was there a Wolfenstein RPG? No way. I'm gonna have to look that up at some point or another. Anyway, then there's that Wolfenstein, and finally, Wolfenstein the New Order. Like, is that real, or did they Photoshop that? To make him, like, perfectly square-jawed. It's a very nice touch. A very nice reminiscent look back at his uh, old portrait. He's real. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I do have a page here. Uh, Wolfenstein RPG was made for Java Millennium Edition. Brew in iOS. I don't even know what half of those are. Uh, it's a first-person shooter and a role-playing game? Much like Doom RPG or other mobile role-playing titles. Huh. I need to see some screenshots of this. It looks weird. It looks very weird. And on top of that, it looks like a mobile game, which is immediately, like, kind of off-putting to me. Yeah, that... Eh. Whatever RPG elements they manage to mix into that, I don't think I'm interested. And I especially don't want to play it on my phone. So, not going to be looking into that. Anyway, that's enough faffing around. I'm going to go now. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, happy Halloween. Watch out for Nazis.